Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video I'm going to display here the real votes, how votes this post has. And also, right now I am logged in as test user. I have voted this post, but I don't show, I don't know now if I have voted or not. So I'm going to show if the user has voted and if the user has upvoted, I'm going to change the upvote uh, around to be blue or if the user has downvoted, it's going to be the down arrow to be red. Okay. So for that, we need first to check if the user has voted this post and next, if the user has voted, has upvoted this or has downvoted. So first, let's go and add the count here in the VS code. Set the resources, JS components. We have the post vote and here we have, we display the hard coded data. Now we need the votes here. So for that, uh, I'm going to get the post as an object. Okay, so let's say here object and now let's go inside let's go inside the post card when we add the post vote and the post we just added the slack so let's add the post object and let's save close this one now in the post if i see here we don't have that votes so let's go inside the view show and data object yeah we don't have the votes so we need to add that for that we need to go inside the app sctp controllers front end and here we say does sign post to be community post resource and here let's add the votes which is going to be these votes like this now if i save and refresh go here data object we have the votes down there now just go to the post vote and here we need to say post dot votes like this also we need to change here to be post slug because now we have the post object the same up here post dot slug save and let's go and refresh uh, yeah here it is just uh, we need to, I'm going to say here margin And yeah, we have something like this. Or let's say padding two. The same. Okay. And I'm going to add BG to B blue. 300 and also to be around it yeah like this okay now i'm going to create a component for the app link and for the down link just to have more nice uh, view here so let's go inside the components and create a new component i'm going to say app vote link dot view and what we need here we need 
Let's uh, remove this as always and let's add the setup. And now let's go in the post vote and copy the app link here. Like this. And paste it inside this one. Now we need to import the link. So let's say import. Import the link from the inertia, inertia view three. Okay. What we need here, we need the slug and only the slug we need. So let's remove the styles and also add here define props and we need only the slug which is going to be string like this and now we say here uh, slug okay save now let's also save this as a downvote downvote link click save go to the upvote and just copy this path here we are going to change only that one and also here is going to be downvote like this save and now here we are going to do something like this so import the up vote and we need to add the slug which is going to be post dot slug like this and also the same thing here, add the downvote link, add the slug, which is going to be post slug, like this. And if I save, yeah, we have the same thing, but uh, now I think we are more, it's more readable. Okay, let's add here Yeah Okay, now in the Now we need to check if the user has upvoted and also is the user has voted and also is if the user has upvoted or downvoted. For that I'm going to create the relationship first to the post. So let's go inside the app and inside the models we have the post model here I'm going to create the relationship for the post votes and let's say here public function post votes and return this has many not post but post vote class like this save now we have that relationship. Now let's go inside the controllers, front end community controller. And here we say community posts with user and also with the post posts, the relationship we created right now. And uh, now to this 
community post resource we need a return the post votes here so what i'm going to do i'm going to say here post votes but if i say the last line of this and i'm going to say when loaded post votes okay if i save and let's go and uh, come here refresh now inside the data we have an object and post votes is an array with uh, all the post votes this post has but i want only the uh, post vote is made by this user okay not all the post votes only the vote is made by this user so what i'm going to do in the controller let's go in the here community controller and we when we say here with the user and post votes here i'm going to create a closure say function so assign query and what i'm going to do with this query now i'm going to say dollar sign query where are the con condition where the user id so the user id in this post votes is auth id like this now this this post votes is going to return only the post votes where the user id is the auth id and we know the authenticated user can only add one vote to the post a vote or done vote so it's going to return only one object to this one so let's save and let's see now go here and refresh data object and we have post votes on array with only one object here the user id is one the same thing we have uh, for the others or we have an, an empty array if we don't have make a... so if i change the user go and log out and log in with another user second mail test go and log in and let's go again to the slash r slash laravel and here if i open the data object yeah again and now as you can see in the in this one I d this user has not voted and we have in the post votes we have an array an empty array okay now how we can check in the post votes or we can check how we, if this is voted or not so let's go in the vs code and in the post votes here we have the post object and in this link i'm going to say add a class bind the class here okay and what we need to do is just add if the user has upvoted this i want to be the text blue 600 okay and this if the post dot post votes 
Now in the post votes we have an array and if the first array, if we have a first array, so let's save this and let's come here. As you can see, we have blue and blue here, but not right here. So we say here, if this is uh, has the post votes, but if I change the vote to be down vote now, it's going to be to remain blue again. So let's, and as you can see, it's remaining blue because we just check if the post, if we have a post vote. But also, I'm going to say, and if the post post vote the first array, if the vote in that one, so let's open the table plus and let's say here in the Reddit clone in the post votes, we have the vote. Now, if the vote is one is up vote or minus one is down vote. So we check here if this vote is equal to one, make this text blue 600. So let's save and let's go and see now. We don't have a voted for this. Now if I click to this one, yeah, this is blue and this is uh, not because this user has done voted this vote and this one. So let's go and do the same for the unvoted here. Let's copy this class because it's going to be almost the same and come here, paste that in. Just change this to be minus one and also the text is going to be red save and now as you can see this has a red down array down arrow and of course this one let's go back and let's refresh again and as you can see yeah now here we have minus two if i click in the up arrow it's going to be zero and it's going to be upvoted so let's see yeah, zero and I voted. And also, you see, uh, when we click, yeah, it's changing the page. And we can say in the link, so in the inertia link, this is inertia link here. Okay, so here now we can say, after the class, I'm going to say, Preserve Preserve scroll And this is going to prevent the scroll up when we click It's going to main in the In that position. So let's add also to this one Hit save and let's go and check now or refresh. Okay, now if I click here up, yeah, you see it's more okay now. Up and up here and down here. Very good. Now that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you on the next one. All the best friends.